Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is happening across the Caribbean. And so I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day thus far. And so we'll be taking a look at all that is happening as a result of that cold front that is in the region and is already impacting some areas. And so we'll also be looking at the rest of the Caribbean and not just the northwestern part of the basin. So before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay and so let's go ahead and kick start things looking at portions of the eastern part of the region and so we can see here that uh, there is definitely some activity that is making its way uh, into the area and this pattern here this flow uh, of wind that is influencing the direction of those clouds is as a result of that cold front. There is also quite a bit of activity in the vicinity of Hispaniola and a pretty good chance of rainfall for that area there. But for the Lesser Antilles, rainfall is definitely going to be possible, especially for the Leeward Islands and Guela, Antigua, Barbuda, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, and even Montserrat. So these areas, uh, those areas are likely to experience showers at some points throughout the day and there is also a pretty good chance for some other areas such as uh, Guadalupe, Dominica, Martinique and even for uh, St. Vincent as well in Barbados so definitely a chance of rainfall for those areas as well as time goes by and so let's take a look at where that cold front is now in the western caribbean here and so we're looking at this map and we can definitely see uh that the boundary is right within that region and so behind that boundary is a mass of cool or cold dry air and notice the cloud pattern so those clouds are stratocumulus clouds and they are pretty common when there are cold fronts and they are just indicating that change in that uh in those weather conditions because of course we have a lot of cool dry air behind that frontal boundary and that is going to be contrasting what is typical of the region so we see that in the caribbean there isn't much convention where we're seeing uh, north of Hispaniola where we see all that activity we're not seeing any of that in the Caribbean and uh, again the reason for that is because of the dry air that is accompanying the front and so areas such as Cuba the Cayman Islands uh, parts of the Yucatan Belize those areas are already uh, feeling impacts from that frontal system so we're having the shift in that wind direction of course winds are going to be coming out of the north or northwest for some of these areas eventually from the north for Jamaica uh, when the front is going to be uh, making its way through the Central Caribbean tomorrow and uh, things are going to definitely change. It's going to be a very noticeable change because it, uh, because the temperature is going to be dropping by a couple degrees well and uh, that is not something that normally happens here. So let's look at the latest forecast uh, in terms of what is expected for that temperature drop and so we're seeing that uh, this is of course from the GFS again if you're not familiar with this map here the blues or the cool colors indicate cooler than normal temperatures or below normal temperatures meanwhile the warmer colors such as those yellow orange and red shades they indicate warmer than normal temperatures and so as we head to tomorrow we're seeing here that the GFS is definitely forecasting that uh, these cooler than normal temperatures are going to be impacting Jamaica at that time and as a matter of fact the coldest time for the island could be around tomorrow night heading to early Monday morning and so as we head to later on the day on Sunday we're definitely seeing here where uh, most of the North Caribbean is feeling impacts in terms of that temperature drop from that cold front and as we see more of those darker blues uh, that is indicating a temperature drop of around uh, four to six degrees celsius so that is pretty intense but as we head to monday things will slowly start to improve still going to be pretty cool across a uh, majority of the region and again in elevated areas the temperature is likely well it's going to be much cooler than uh, flat areas and then as we head to Wednesday, though, we're seeing here that the GFS is forecasting that things are going to improve a lot this time. So things will be, uh, so the 
temperature is going to be somewhat returning to normal. We still see some of those blues, maybe a degree or two below normal for some areas, but nothing too intense around that time. Uh, things are going to be improving. So this is the expected position of the cold front as we're going to be heading into tomorrow we see that it is expected to extend from costa rica all the way out into the atlantic and again uh where we have that boundary we're not seeing too much activity in terms of rainfall but uh the main concern is going to be the windy cold conditions that are going to be prominent behind that frontal boundary guys and so as I speak about that, let's take a look at this map here. And so we're seeing more of those peach shades that is indicating stronger winds. We see that within the Cayman Islands where Georgetown is. So the boundary is right within that region there. We see that there are winds of around 22 knots within that area. So the wind here is measured in knots uh, for Havana. 18 knots there so not very intense winds but pretty windy nonetheless with that cold air mass and so guys in terms of the moisture and association with the system here we're looking at this water vapor map and of course where we see those whites and greens that is indicating areas of moisture meanwhile the yellows and oranges they indicate areas of dry air and so we can clearly see that uh, there is uh, a lot of dry air in abundance across sections of the Caribbean. So over in the eastern Caribbean, we definitely see quite a bit of dry air present. And then, of course, again, behind that frontal boundary, there is all that dry air that is going to be setting in. So guys, that is what is happening and of course, as we're going to be heading to tonight for some areas uh, across Jamaica, there is going to be that temperature drop. So for some areas, for example, in Montego Bay, the temperature drop is expected to be around 20 degrees Celsius tonight and uh, usually it is around 22, 23 degrees Celsius, especially at this time of year. So it's going to be a few, deg uh, a few degrees cooler and then of course throughout the day tomorrow the highest temperature is going to be in the low 20s so we're going to be seeing those usual nighttime temperatures as the maximum temperatures during the daytime for the entire island there's going to be a couple degrees drop in the temperature so it's not just for one place across the island and of course guys i'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is happening so remember to have everything ready uh those sweaters jackets and even those warm blankets that we wouldn't normally use unless the time is cold so now is going to be uh, a time when we would need those and of course guys that is really it for now and I will keep you updated once it is necessary but if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and remember to always be weather wise